I'm Tom Baker, this is Chasing Cars. I'm sitting here in a hotel room in Melbourne, but I wanted to share with you some important news about the Tesla Model Y as soon as we found out about it today. And that's that Tesla Australia has at long last confirmed that it will bring the Model Y dual motor long range all wheel drive trim to Australia and very soon. Tesla says the first customer deliveries of the Tesla Model Y long range will be possible locally in May or June. Now I understand that to be very late May, early June is more likely for really the bulk of the first customer deliveries, but it means that cars are already on their way here but online ordering has only just opened about 30 minutes ago as of right now here in Australia. The date is the 4th of April. So Tesla has only just released the Model Y performance here in Australia, which became the first dual motor all wheel drive version of the Model Y locally. The rear wheel drive version has been on sale for the best part of a year now and is already a remarkably popular vehicle here in Australia. Now I've just reviewed the Model Y performance out here in Australia and you can catch that review on the Chasing Cars channel. I liked the car, it's rolled in from Giga Shanghai with the suspension upgrade that was first seen from Giga Berlin. So it's exactly what we're expecting from the non-performance long range all wheel drive. But to say the long range is, is not a performance SUV would really be a misnomer. It might not be as red hot as the Model Y performance, but it's still extremely powerful as midsize SUVs go. The basic specs are a single motor on the rear, a smaller motor on the front, and it's packing 378 kilowatts of power and 493 newton meters of torque or thereabouts. Tesla doesn't publish power and torque. Those are the known specs for the long range. They might vary a little bit either way, but a 378 kilowatt midsize SUV, well, that's way more power than you get from something like an Audi SQ5. It's not quite as much as the 413 kilowatts in the performance, but you're not gonna be far behind that car. Interestingly, uh, the claim is five seconds, zero to 100, I'd be shocked if we couldn't beat that with numbers like that, but we'll see when we performance test this car properly on chasing cars. We're expecting to be able to get a review of the Model Y at long range up early June when that first batch of customer deliveries rolls in. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel in order to see that. More interesting is the range claim. Now, Tesla says 533 kilometers of range. That's based on the WLTP range scale, the European range testing. Now, we know that usually the real range falls some way short. So with the performance, that has 511 Ks of range WLTP. I've just done our range test on that car and we got 436 Ks of range. Uh, and so that's a, still a really good amount of range. I'm expecting the long range version to deliver maybe 450, 460 Ks of range in the real world. Given that it's packing the same 75 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack as the performance, capable of some really quick supercharging rates, this will make the Model Y long range one of the best EVs to take on a family road trip here in Australia. The combination of fast charging and great charging infrastructure through the supercharging network will make this a very compelling car up alongside vehicles like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the Kia EV6, which already have their long range variants available here in Australia. Now the price is 81,990 before on-road costs, about $88,000 drive away if you just go for white without any options. User choosers who are selecting a vehicle to lease can actually squeeze into a Model Y long range for under the luxury car tax threshold therefore getting an FBT waiver here in Australia, but only if you choose a white Model Y long range with no options. Select any of the other colors and it will fall over the LCT and you won't be able to get the FBT waiver. But that's still a very competitive price up against vehicles like the long range all drive version of the Kia EV6, for instance. You can really see Tesla have sort of pegged it in that emerging 80 to 90 grand long range SUV. Uh, segment for electric vehicles here in Australia. Now the options on the car are as expected, the same colors as the other Model Y variants here in Australia. We don't have that new deeper gray or red that you can get in Giga Berlin production yet. Uh, black or extra cost white interiors. And then of course you can go for enhanced autopilot or you can go for Tesla FSD, uh, but that is not yet uh, a technology which has been released in beta form here in Australia. So that's a little bit of a roundup of the Model Y long range. Uh, we'll be seeing the car here in Australia, uh, maybe late next month, early June. We'll have a review up on the channel. Will it be the sweet spot of the Model Y lineup? I'd say that's looking pretty likely. You can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments to this video. 
Let me know what you're thinking. While you're there, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching, Chasing Cars.